Hello class, this is Miss Hooper coming to you today for today's challenges. So today is, and we're halfway through another week, today is Wednesday the 6th of May 2020. Can you believe we're already nearly a week into our brand new month? It's amazing and I love the month of May. Yesterday I went for a little walk around and I started seeing May flowers out which means hopefully it's going to start getting warmer again, which is super exciting. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with today's challenges. I'm coming to you with phonics today, your pack challenge, your maths and your chilli challenge today. So, and also just want to apologise. I'm sorry I forgot to send the lists for your phonics out um, until an hour after I sent the other, um, your first email yesterday. So apologies for that. I seem to have loads more documents that I need to keep sending and I keep forgetting. So thank you to everybody that, um, to those that emailed to remind me. Thank goodness you did or otherwise you wouldn't have got them. So thank you for that. I'm sorry. I can only apologise for, um, we'll just have to call it isolation brain. Anyway, moving on. So today in phonics reception, you're looking at your next trigraph. Remember a trigraph is when we have three letters that make one sound. Yesterday you were looking at ear. Eh, 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 ah, 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 Today you're looking at this one, which starts with our phase three sound, A, like in rain. So that's our ah, 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 and our i, i, i. And it ends with our er sound again. So today's sound is the sound air. Well done. Just like the air that we breathe in. <sighs> lovely, lovely air. So what I would like you guys to do today is play Treasure and Trash. I will be sending you a list of words using the air sound, but also using the ear sound because they're two quite difficult trigraphs to remember so I'm popping a little bit of revision in there for you so what I want you to do is have a go blending those words read them and then work out whether they are real words or rubbish words so let's have a quick look at the words I've got on the board here we've got two lovely blends on these words we've got st air let's put it together Air. Stare. Well done. So which one would it go in? Would it go in real or rubbish? Real. Well done. Now this stair means I'm climbing up the stairs. Fantastic. So I would put it in the real column. Let's have a look at this word here. Another lovely blend. Short f l air. Fl air or f l air what word is it well done it's flare now there is type there is a type of thing as a flare but it's not using this spelling so actually it goes in our rubbish column so see if you can have a go at those for me today i have also attached some sentences for you to read you can um Stick them in your book if you want to, colour in the words that have got the air sound in them, whatever you want to do, just make sure you are reading them. Okay, wonderful. Let's move on to year one. Your phase five sound to revise today is this sound. It's made up of the e eh and the w. Now, some of you get a little bit confused and say the word we as soon as you, as soon as you see this. It's not our tricky word we. If it was, these letters would be switched round the other, other way. It's not a word, it's a sound. And what sound is this? Some of you are saying it. It's the oo sound, just like in chew or flu or grew. Loads of different words. So today you guys have got um, a choice to make. Um, you can either play a game, it's a new game, so this is why I've given you an option. You can either play a game called Countdown using the word um, words with the sound oo in them, 
or you can have a go at putting the oo words from the list that I've sent to you and putting them into sentences. You can draw pictures with them if you want to as well. Now to play countdown, what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of the words from the list, you're going to write it down and then underneath you're going to have a go at seeing how many other words you can make using those letters in that word, okay? So to start with, I've got the word d r o o d r o o drew, well done, I drew a picture. Now I'm going to unjumble those or bum jumble those words up and see what other words I can make. So if I started with the word, with the sound r, and then I put an e there, what other sound could I put at the end to make a word? Well done, I could put the d at the end to make red. Now another word you could write under here is that tricky word we, fantastic. And you're just going to see, I'm going to stop there because I've run out of room, but you're just going to see how many other words you can make out of that first oo word, okay? So you count down, now you're counting down to how many words you can make. It's a little competition, okay? If you don't want to have a go at that, like I say, you can, you can have a go at the sentence writing. So the word we've got here is st, ew, st, ew, stew, just like the stew that we eat. So a sentence might be, I ate my stew, not forgetting a full stop at the end. Well done. So that is your phonics activities for today. Um, again, with year one, I'm going to send out some sentences for you to have a go at reading. Um, chop them up, stick them in your book, colour in the words with the oo sound, um, whatever you want to do, just have a go at reading them. Okay? Wonderful. Moving on to the pack activity today. It is the saving money challenge. So I have challenged you and your mummies and daddies to have a go at talking about why it is important for us to save some money. And your task today is to think about something that you might want to save your pocket money for if you get some pocket money or if you don't get pocket money. Um, you might be able to ask really nicely if you can save just a little bit of money for you to be able to buy something. Now that might be um, a bag of sweeties, it might be a book, it might be a DVD or a little cuddly toy, whatever it is, just something small and I want you to draw it on a piece of paper and you can put it on the fridge and you can decorate it however you want to, to remind you that that is what you want to save your money for. Because it's really important um, saving money. And then I want you to go onto the computer and have a look and see at how much um, that thing is that you want to save for. And you can write the price on your poster. And I want you to come up with a little bit of a plan about how you are going to save for that one little thing that you really, really want. That might be, um, you might save, put a little bit of your money every day to, in somewhere safe to keep your money nice and safe. Or it might be putting a little bit back every week. However you want to do it, just draw yourself out a little plan with your mummy and daddy um, so that you've got a strategy on how you're going to save for that one thing that you really, really want. And then what you're going to do is make yourself a place that's safe to keep your money. Now, sometimes we put our money in a place called a bank, which keeps our money really, really safe. And other times we put our money or things that are really precious to us in other places that are safe. You might put them in a safe or in a lockable box 
or you keep your money in a purse there's lots of or a wallet there's lots of different places that we put things to keep our money safe so that's what I want you to do I want you to make yourself like a little money box to keep all of that money really really safe until that day that you've saved up all the money that you need to buy what you want okay so on my board today I've drawn myself a little piggy bank just like on Toy Story and to remind you, I've drawn some different types of money around the outside. I've got a 20p, a five pound note, because remember this squiggly little sign here means pound, and that p -p -p means pence, and pennies are um, a lesser amount than pounds, which is more. And then we've got a 10p there. So that is your pack activity today. I know that Zach was busy yesterday um, sorting out his Lego, ready to make his Lego money box. You can use whatever you want for this. I've put some designs in the pack for you to have a look at. Um, so yeah, go crazy, go wild, have a go at thinking about what you'd like to say for making yourself a plan and then making some um, a little place that is safe to keep that money. All right. Fabulous. Moving on then, let's turn this board around. So that saving money activity um, um, links really nicely with our maths topic, which is money. We are moving away from time and we are moving into money. Oh, it's almost like I plan it like this. So we are starting our money topic. And um, today what I want you to have a go at doing is recognising coins, okay? So I've got three different activities for you to choose and I want you to choose one. You can do more than one if you want to, but I really want you to have tackled at least one of these today. And I'm going to go through them on the board in a minute. You might want to um, ask your mummies and daddies really nicely if you can have a look at the change, the little coins that they've got in their purses or wallets for you to have a real good look. Because that's what it's all about today is learning about what they look like and how much they are worth. OK, so your first activity today um, that you can choose from is this one. So you're going to have a sheet with lots of different pictures of coins on them because coins are a type of money and each of these little coins have got a number on them which means that's how much they are worth okay so apart from the pictures of the coins you've also got how much the pennies are worth in peas and pounds and you need to match the right amount to the right coin now it's really difficult for Miss Hooper to draw these properly on the board because I don't have the right pens. So I've drawn the, what they sort of look like and we would have a go at matching them. So here I've got a really small coin. This coin is usually brown. In the middle I've got a really a big coin which is silver in the middle and gold around the outside. And this one is a silver coin. It's quite big and it's got lots of sides on it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. It's an octagon, okay? So let's have a go and see if we can match them. Does anybody know what that really tiny brown coin is? Is it a two pounds? Because this sign here, I'll draw it a bit bigger, this sign is a pound sign and pounds are worth more than pennies, okay? Is that two pounds or is it 50p or is it 1p? Which one is it? The small brown coin. You can have a look through your mummies and daddies coins if you want to for this. It's actually our smallest value coin and it's the... It's, um, it's not the smallest coin, but it's one of the smallest coins. It's our 1p. So you would match it with this one. This coin in the middle, it's gold and it's silver. 
it's worth the most in um, in our coins. So is it going to be our two pounds or is it our 50p? Let me help you a little bit with this one. A 50p coin is worth five pennies, is worth 50 pennies. A coin like this is worth a lot more. In fact, it's worth 200 pennies. So you're right, this one is the two pounds, which means that this coin over here is the 50p. Wow, so you guys are going to match the amounts to the coins. The next one is also a matching game, but this time, um, instead of, I've drawn arrows on here, but you would actually cut and stick um, the amounts underneath. Down here, we have got the different coins and the different amounts, and you need to draw lines to match them. So I've got a coin here with a two on it, and a coin here with a five on it. So which one is the 5p coin? Well done, it's the one with the five on it. And which is the 2p coin? Well done, it's the one with the two on it. So you've managed to match them. The last one I've got here is a little bit, you've got to look at the coins and it's a colouring challenge actually. You've got to be able to find the coins and colour them in certain colours. It gives you instructions on the page. So it says here, colour the five peas pink. So, got myself a pink pen. I know that that number is going to be on the coin. Let's see, is this a five? No, this one is though. This has got five P on it, so I'll colour that one. Ah, oh, and that one, that says one P, one P. Ah, five P over here. There we go, and then it says colour the two P's red. So I've got my red pen, and I'm gonna colour in these, oh, I've written two P's when they're actually one. Silly Miss Hooper. Let's put that there. Change that a little bit. Here we go. Here's our one P and another one P and another one P. And with this one, it doesn't just look at coins. It looks at notes as well. So choose which one you want to do or a couple of those activities and have fun with it. Remember, it's all about recognising the coins and how much each coin is worth. So being able to say this is worth 5p, this is worth 2p, this is worth £1, which is 100 pennies, this is worth £2, which is 200 pennies. Okay, fabulous. And the last activity today, the chilli challenge, another arty one for you, is to have a go at making an NHS rainbow why have I written calendar there? It's not a calendar, it's an NHS rainbow mobile. So I have sent out what it might look like this morning. So all you've got to do is get yourself some string and some bits of paper and this can be dangling down in your window if you want to. All it is is making some clouds and then instead of raining out of the clouds as rain you're going to have the NHS rainbow hearts coming down out of your clouds. They look really really pretty. I will just show you on my laptop what it could look like. Where is it? Here it is. Let's move down. So, it will look like that over there. So we've got hearts raining out of the clouds, okay? But I have sent that to you, so you will have that anyway. Wonderful, so that is everything today. That is all of your challenges. Remember, the pack activity is super, super important. All the other things are there if you need them. It's great if you can do all of the challenges. If you can't do all of them, just try and do a couple. We are just making sure that everybody is doing something every single day. So, so important to keep your learning up, okay? 
So have a wonderful day. Um, I hope I've explained everything okay. Um, and just email me if you've got any questions and I will see you tomorrow. See you later guys. Have a lovely day.